Welcome to Let's Play Gran Turismo 6 Part 3. In this segment, we're going to buy another car since I have just enough money to buy another car. And I want to try to use a different car in each segment, so... Money's going to be tight. Anyways, we're going to buy us a Toyota Vitz. Meme car, but not in the meme color because meme color is not available. So I'm going to uh, get it in Super Red V. Super Red 5, I guess. Something. I don't know. And this is a st our first uh, standard interior car, so... Hooray! Standard car! Which means no in-car view. Because silhouette. Fuck silhouette view. I mean, it's cool, but it's, you know, it's not my... I, I'd rather not use it. Anyways, to the Novice Championship, which is a... Well, Championship Series, our first one with points and shit in the game. We have three races, two of them at Brands Hatch, because fucking why not? One at Autumn Ring, so here we go. This is the championship series aimed at those who can shave off the title of beginner. Here's the requirements, sport hard or less, tires, typical opponents, Vitz, Volts, and Mini Cooper. So here we go. <clears throat> How can you tell the difference in dealership between standard and premium? Uh, it tells you when you're looking at the car if it has uh, if it's standard or premium so ooh, a lot of Miatas and by a lot I mean two let's see we've got two Miatas we got two Corollas actually three Miatas damn all right well then this is an interesting uh opponent list let's turn off all the shiz and uh, let's get started with our first race of the novice championship at Bren's Hatch. So here we go. Just to show off the uh, silhouette interior. Yeah, not using that. Fuck that. Put my shifter in second gear here. And off we go for two laps at the Bren's Hatch indie circuit. Hey, look, it's pretty. I think that's the same car I used in the uh, amateur championship. I don't know. Since there's a lot of fucking, uh, Miatas in this game. A whole lot. So, yeah, I don't know. Oh, hey, Red Vits, yeah. <laughs> so, eh, interior. Here's the guy that dares to be different, because he's using a car that no one else is using. Same with me, but, you know. Clearly, me and Maria are teammates since we're using different cars, as opposed to having pairings of the other cars. That was a bad joke. Actually, the delivery was the worst part of that, but yeah. Uh, oh shit. I should upshift. Come on! I'll accelerate the Corolla! Isn't that a Yaris? Why is it called a Vitz? Because Vitz and Yaris are the same thing, just different names for region. So yeah. That. Second gear through the hairpin. Oh shit. A little fast through the hairpin, but we're good. Alright, Mendez. Just crab my way around you. Nice smooth overtake. And we stay crabbed around him. Hopefully. Fourth gear. One point four second lead heading into the last turn. Oh shit, we're going wide. We're going really wide. Okay, that was bad. That was really bad. Which wheels good for a PS4? I don't know rough, because I don't have a PS4, and I my wheel is not compatible with the PS4. I don't think. No, it isn't. I don't know. Do all races start with people ahead on track? Yeah. Yes, they do. Hey, we won. One kick their ass. Alright. So we get 4,600 credits for winning. The three stars. Like how it shows all the cars in pit relaying there. That's pretty cool. And... 
Get a 25 point lead over Mendez. So to race two we go, which is going to take place at the Autumn Ring. Cool. I like these little uh, menu transitions for the loading screens a lot. I don't know why, they're pretty cool. Here's my car. Crewmen discussing things. Don't know what kind of things. So we go two laps, 3.67 mile race. Forty-nine hundred credits for winning. Winning. There's track stats and shit. Or stats and conditions. All right, let's go. I could probably start this a little sooner, but I like to show off like track conditions and stuff. Gotta show every the entire conditions for the race. Damn it! All right, anyways. Into the first hairpin. Way early on the brakes there, but it's fine. Probably could have stayed in third gear through the hairpin. Well, look at that body roll on my car. You can just see the body lean so much. It's actually pretty great. So look at that shit. It's fucking leaning. Oh god, we're off track. I don't have a whole lot of grip because of these comfort tires. So yeah. 1230. It's pretty, uh, pretty long shadows for fucking midday. It does look like it's fucking 730. I got the time wrong. No. Alright, around Morita, hopefully. Excuse me. This is my position. Hey, all your waffles may need me more. Do you like waffles? No, I like waffles. Yeah, okay, anyways. Quick upshift. Why not? Around the outside. Before clock is different part of the world. Yeah, clearly. Like it's it's twelve thirty one somewhere, not necessarily here. Oh damn. Pereira with the dive. Alright. Yeah, I saw that video soccer if you opening pizza box with the fucking Zelda thing. That was pretty good. Alright. Quickly around Mendez, fucking just Reeled him in in the bus stop. Like, reeled him the fuck in. Must constantly look over at OBS to make sure uh, audio levels are fine. Because I'm really, really anal about that. I'm anal about audio levels in the sense that Test Drive is anal about video quality. Pretty much. Hey, I just look back. Gotta hold the lead for not too much longer. Shouldn't be too difficult of a task. I'm actually surprised about how much brake pressure I can apply without locking them up. They you know, I'm used to GT5's braking, or lack of ABS, where you have to like fucking... If you do even think about doing anything more than 50% brake, you lock them up. Yeah, I try to slow down a bit. The hype has calmed down a bit. me quick, but not quick enough. Ta-da! Chat is normal again. There we go, two for two. I'm actually uh, sucking ass here and losing every fucking race. Alright. So that was cool. Skip the replay, damn it. Can't get my finger on the button. There we go. Our stars. And we now have a uh, 50 point advantage over Mendez heading to the last race. Let's go. 
so hooray. Stuff. And we're going back to Brands Hatch, this time for the full GP course. So that's going to be interesting, because I'm really bad at the GP course. Really bad. How far into GT6 am I? I'm in the Novice Championship. So yeah, ooh, looks like we're starting pretty early in the morning. Or late in the evening. Whichever one, let's find out. It is late in the evening. Alright, 7.30. Cool. So, let's go. Yeah, this game's like, hey, by the way, we have Brands Hatch. Look, it's Brands Hatch. Brands Hatch. Oh my god, Brands Hatch! Anyways. Alright, off we go. Two laps at Brands Hatch. Full circuit. Return with more waffle. Mmm, waffle. Headlights, bro. Yeah, I just started started the game. I mean, I've played through this game before, but I just started the game for a let's play. Oh yeah, this game does look incredible. Like. If there's one thing Polyphony has always been really good at having is uh, really, really good looking games. Really good looking games. Which brand's hatch is best brand's hatch? God, the Rallycross course. I love the start sound so much. It's a good good just like yeah go oh shit too fast uh, okay we're good we're good everything's fine we are a-okay obviously since I'm driving such a slow car don't really get to show off my lack of skill around this track but trust me I'm very poop at this track is there any other game Polyphony has developed by, besides GT? Well, there's Tourist Trophy. Then there's the uh, game that came before GT, which was uh, Motor 2 Grand Prix. And they also made... S I can never remember the name of it, but they made some kind of like action robot, like action mech game or something. I forget what it was called, though. I can always forget what it's called. It annoys me. Diving on the inside, that's a very, very deep line. Alright. Shit. Okay, we're good. Omega Blast, thank you, K-Boys. That's the game. Omega Blast. Other than that, they've solely been making GT. Little too fast. Ah, oh, touch the gravel. It's gonna kill my momentum. Oops, I forgot to uh, shift. That was a violent shift. Mendez looking. I'm not gonna be able to make the pass though. Gonna trademark racing games. Is it's not fucking pink because I couldn't get it in pink. Is it possible to make a Wikipedia page on yourself? I have a YouTube wiki, like a YouTube wiki page. I've already done the seven events. I know what they're like. I'm saving that for later. Alright, just gotta make through one more turn, not fuck it up. Hey, I didn't fuck it up. Alright. We're good. We is good. So, the clean sweep of our first championship. 
is complete. First cl clean sweep of our first championship, I mean. No, I did not make the the uh, page. Someone else did. But I keep it updated now that I know it exists. Alright, there we go. Take that, fuckers. Whoops, that's not the correct button. Alright. Hey, I have 18,000 credits now. Woo! Did you know you could take photos of races in replay mode? Yes. Do I care? No. I'm not a photo man. Hooray, we got the clean sweep. And we got the gold trophy for winning the championship overall. And another 8,000 credits. And the trophy. Yeah, trophies! So, there we go. All gold trophies, got all the stars, of course. And hey, we got a prize car! Finally. For getting all the stars in novice class, we get a Renault Sport Clio from the uh, tutorial. We get the tutorial car, and let's get it in the color we used in the tutorial. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I say. Yeah, sure. Let's get in the car. Let's hear that startup sound. And there we go. That's the novice championship down. So, that completes that shit, so next time on GT6, we're gonna do the Coffee Break Challenge. And, uh, open that little can of worms, so with that, stay tuned for more GT6.